What's up guys, it's Aaron Benjamin here for another video and as usual I'm here with my good friend Ty and this is actually my first Nogi video so quick shout out to everybody for helping me reach over a thousand subscribers. Today's video is a little different. I normally segment things and I do like five or six videos so that you guys get a lot of the techniques so that you can implement them in your own game because sometimes I think one technique is just not enough. You have to see how you can systemize it. But today I'm going to do a breakdown. Because Gordon Ryan was able to use a sweep from the butterfly guard that has been seen often at ADCC by both Dean Lister and Marcelo Garcia. I am a Marcelo Garcia brown belt. I've always been a fanatic of Marcelo and I'm a big butterfly guard player. And a lot of people sleep on Gordon's butterfly guard. Not fanboying or anything, although I'm a huge fan of Gordon. Gordon might have the best butterfly guard in the game today. He's so good with his butterfly guard, it's crazy. There's a lot of other guys out there, Rafael Formiga, obviously Marcel is a legend of the butterfly guard. There are plenty of butterfly guard players that are super effective. But I want to break down the sweep that Gordon hit on Buchecha because sweeping Buchecha is no easy feat. And Marcel hit the exact same sweep. They use a little bit different grip variations and it's a butterfly uh, sweep but with like a shoulder lock. And it comes off of a failed arm lock sometimes or if the guy's defending the arm lock. So we need to understand a couple things here. So let's go into butterfly guard. So let's say I have Ty. Guys, we're going to stray away from the sweep right now and then I'll explain the differences between Marcelo's and Gordon's. But the idea of the sweep is like sometimes let's say you get butt double unders on somebody. You want to bring them forward and make them post their arm. This is like the basic entry to this sweep because I want to attack the inverted arm lock. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's say I'm double under, so I'm nice and tight. I load my hip under his hip, my head is below his head. I elevate Ty and he posts, just like this. So then what do I do? I, I come around and I push Ty and I start to look for this inverted arm lock. So let's go back. So the more I elevate him, right, I'm here. I re elevate and then I come here, right? And I try to look for the inverted arm lock. But what do a lot of guys do to defend? They hug the head. Right? Because if I get the elbow like this, I might be able to finish a variation of the inverted arm lock. So a lot of the guys in this gable grip position, Gordon uses a different grip than the gable, they start to defend because they're worried about their elbow. It's a precarious position for the elbow. So the sweep we saw, I'm going to show it first, is this. Right? For Gordon, he was here and he used a different grip. Right? So he was more like this. And he was with Buchecha. Buchecha, I think he might have had this leg out. I'm not exactly sure, but he did a butterfly sweep here. Buchecha scrambled. He got his way up somehow. Now, Marcelo was more on his back. So Gordon was in a really good seated guard upright position. Whereas Marcelo was actually kind of flattened here. And he had his gable grip. And Marcelo was able to extend a little, put his foot on the hip to get some space. And then he started to sweep, and he actually swept his opponent's leg out from underneath him, right? So Marcelo uses a gable grip, and Gordon kind of grabs his wrists, right? So the difference in the two sweeps is one was more upright, right? And the grip was a little different here, kind of like this, like a wrist-to-wrist -wrist grip. But still, the concepts remain the same, right? The person's defending the arm lock, or the potential arm lock, and a bunch of other things that can come from the danger of having that elbow exposure there. And in order to defend the submission or the potential threat of a submission, they're giving up a sweep. So how do you do this sweep? So initially, right, anytime somebody's trying to get head control, I come here, I want to keep my elbow framed in front of his face. It's very important because if my frame is here, he's just going to come down and he's going to flatten me out. So my elbow is very pivotal. I need to keep it across his jaw. Okay. Furthermore, I'm using gable grip variation. My right hand's palm out, left hand's palm facing me. I'm constantly applying pressure on the shoulder. Right? As Ty tries to get closer, I keep him away with my frame. My frame and my hooks are active. When I'm ready to do the sweep, there's multiple variations. Right? The mechanics are similar to a butterfly sweep. I did like a 15 minute breakdown on the butterfly sweep, if you want to see that below. But the beauty of this sweep is you're focusing so much control on this arm 
which is the posting hand, that I'm, I have so much upper body control. So rather than focusing a lot on elevation with the hook, there's different variations. This isn't what Gordon or Marcel did. But for example, I can kick his knee and I can sweep over. Now, one thing to note, let's go back. As I sweep, I use my elbow to push the head and control the upper body. So for example, I'm here, if I'm doing the knee push, right? If I'm here, the hook is just barely helping me. My elbow is pushing my opponent's face, right? So that's one variation of the sweep. And the second variation is kind of like the one Marcelo did. It's like a scissor butterfly sweep, right? If he starts to pressure in, my leg comes out, and then look, I chop, and I'm still using my elbow, right, to help move his face. I'm keeping him away from me. So, specifically talking about theirs, Gordon was in a position where he achieved this grip here, right? So he was wrist to wrist, framing Buchecha's head very well. Again, I think Buchecha might have had this leg up. And Gordon was able to fall back and carry him almost over his right shoulder, if I'm not mistaken, like so. Right? But that frame was super strong with the elbow. And again, Marcelo was flattened. But the person was not able to hold a lot of pressure because of this frame. The person was actually probably concerned that they were in a precarious position. Because if at any point Marcelo was able to extend the elbow, he could then attack the inverted arm lock, right? He could come up, switch to this arm lock. There's a lot of opportunities with that grip. Like I said, it's honestly one of the best nogi grips. I know Gordon has used it on a bunch of other people. I'm not sure if it was uh, Rocha or Josh Barnett, but man, he's so good with it. So again, Marcelo was flat, right? The person was scared. They were hugging really tight here on the head. Yeah, exactly. They didn't want this elbow to come free. Right, Marcelo managed to get his foot to the hip. He started to push a little, and then he went for the sweep. But guys, look how I use my elbow to pull, 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 chop, and I come up. So guys, amazing sweep. Gordon and Marcelo masters of the butterfly guard. And again, don't forget that the basic variation that you guys can start practicing with is going to be to elevate your opponent, catch the gable grip or the wrist-to-wrist -wrist grip, uh, whatever grip variation you want and start to sweep. So I'll show you that one more time. This can be the one you drill. Get double unders in butterfly guard, right? Head low, launch them over you, force them to post. Boom, right, he posts. Now look, I come here, make my grip, and I extend as I sit up, right? I extend as I sit up. My training partner does a good job of keeping his elbow. If he doesn't keep his elbow, I come here, and I start to attack the arm bar, or I can roll through as I just showed for a full arm lock here. And as he defends, right, I'm here and I carry him with me this way. I can kick the knee, I can scissor, or I can just go for full butterfly sweep. Right? Again, the beauty of the grip is it's got so much control in the upper body. You don't have to focus as much on the lower body and allows you opportunity to do different variations of the butterfly sweep. So for example, traditional butterfly sweep, we always want to stay on our side, we want to fall to our right, and we want to use our toes to jack our opponent up, right? As we use our hook, whereas with this one, and we have the gable grip, we can go overhead, right? We can kick the knee and sweep. We can scissor the knee and sweep. So guys, man, super good stuff. Thanks to my friend Ty. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe. If you guys want more breakdowns, just let me know in the comments or the messages. And thanks again for the 1,000 subscribers. Oh, guys.